Hello guys, this is Malia with Mustard Tree Market. How are you today? I am the creator and coach over here and I'm also a Dixie Belle brand ambassador. I am working again on this piece. Um, if you watched last Monday, you saw um, how I started this piece. It is lots of patina greens and blues that we did together live last week. I added to it a little bit more, pulled some of this up a little bit higher, and I did something kind of cool that I tried out. Um, I added the green patina spray. So Dixie Belle has this green patina spray, and I didn't use it the right way. I didn't add the actual patina paint and do all the things. So I wasn't trying to get that kind of reaction. I just wanted to spray on over like some of the white where I used that cotton and the sea glass and see if I couldn't get it to have some sort of reaction or look. And I really like the way that it turned out. So I'll show you. Can you guys see what it kind of did? So it just more made like spots kind of, and they look kind of dirty, dirty-ish spots. And it separated the paint for sure like the vinegar does, but I really kind of like the way that it aged it. So I just kind of did that a little bit strategically in the middle-ish and a little over this hardware. And I just kept it up on the top mostly a little bit right here. So I didn't put it on the bottom of the piece at all. Um, I don't know. I just wanted it to look like maybe something happened to it on the top. <laughs> I like that authentic, authentic grunge. So I tried that. That's how I got that look. So when I post it and you guys see those weird spots and you're like, did she literally throw dirty water on there? No, but kind of gave, gave the effect of like tea or something, you know? Um, so something to try out and I used it in the, the green and I didn't use anything else with it. I just squirted it on there. And I took a heat gun to it immediately to dry it since I didn't want drips. I just wanted spots, okay? So, I'm going to show you today how to grunge out the hardware, how I'm going to do it this time. Um, I grunge it all different ways on the hardware, but for this particular piece, I've decided that I'm going to do, like stick with the real patina look and I'm going to use the Voodoo Gel Stains. Um, at least the Temptress first. And I'm gonna do that on the hardware to grunge it out and give like a patina look. And then I will of course probably for sure use the Gilding Wax in Black. That's how I get the like actual grunge. I'll try to see, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing really well. I'm hoping that's not too bright. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys see see this pretty close up. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I'm doing, when I'm using the Voodoo Gel Stain like this, I just take it, well, I'll put the lid back on. I'm just gonna squirt some of it out on a tray so I can work from it like Almost like it's a liquid wax is kind of what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna spray the other easy peasy spray wax on too. So I'll just take like a little styrofoam plate or something and I'll just squirt. There we go. I just squirt some out on a plate like that, okay? And then, and then I'm going to take the easy peasy spray wax and I'm going to shake it because you shake it until it quits sounding like it's water. See how the sound changed? You shake it until it quits making that sound. And then I'm going to spray it just over the areas that I'm going to be using it on. So I'm going to start with um, this one. Hopefully you can see that one pretty good. Yes. Okay. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to, I'm not trying to wax this whole piece right now. I'm just going to take a shop towel. 
I'm just gonna spray just the hardware. And I'm gonna take a, let's see, an artist brush and I'm just gonna dab my Voodoo Gel Stain Temperatures on it like so. And I'm just gonna take my brush and hold it like this and I'm gonna let it kind of fall against it, okay? Like that. And actually, that's got a lot of too much, too much easy peasy. It's a little too wet for what I'm wanting it to look like. I'm gonna dab some of that easy peasy back and do it again. Same thing, hold the brush like this. And then I'm gonna dab my brush back. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Easy Peasy on my shop towel. And I'm just gonna rub some of this and see if I can't rub some back to the hardware. Get some of that metal to pop through a little bit. There's a little bit of it. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on how much paint's on it. And Gonna hit it with the heat gun. Let's see if I can put you guys in real tight on this. Okay. See how it kind of has like that, it looks like it's naturally been, like has patina on it. Now I'm going to, debating. Probably go in with the black first. Gilly wax black. And I'm pop that open. Where's my little opener? Opener, where are you? <clears throat> Here you go. All right, so I'm gonna open my new Gildan Wax in black. And I'm just gonna take a tiny little artist brush because I'm trying to get little tiny spots in here. And I've already sprayed Easy Peasy Spray Wax, so I've got some clear wax on there so I can move it well. And if I get too much, the um, shop towel with Easy Peasy Spray Wax will act as an eraser and I can pull it back. And I like to use my fingers to rub it in. It adds to the authentic look, I think. And my hardware was painted with the Dixie Bell paint when I painted my piece. So that's what's on here as a base, which works really nice for this gilding wax. It like adheres really nicely. But I never leave my hardware just painted. I like it to still pop like it's got metal, like it's metal. So I re-bring it out. I bring it back out.
And I typically go a little bit off on one side or below randomly on each hardware. So it doesn't look like it's just perfectly around it in a circle. I'll go off on one side or below or something or above. So it looks like maybe it was just opened on that side a bunch. Like that's where the fingers hit. Like that. Now see how I'm using this side, leaving this side pretty clean over here. And I'm making this side dirtier so it looks more natural. And if you think you use too much or something, you just take a shop towel and I spray my easy peasy spray wax on it. And then I just real lightly go over it. And it's gonna pull it back and give you a kind of cool effect. And if I really wanted to erase it, I could like, you know, rub it, rub it. And it would pull it back and erase it. But I'm just trying to kind of smooth it out and give it a cool effect. So see how it's kind of pulled back the wax in just a spot there? That's cool. I like that. It makes it look authentic. So I always kind of like wipe it over it really lightly. I'm using a really light hand, but it can, it gives like some spots that'll pull back the wax and it'll look really um, authentic and real. And then I decide I'm gonna go further. I've been using a lot of gilding wax bronze, but the copper could be really neat for this. So I think I might go copper. So gilding wax and copper now. So I'm taking the gilding wax and copper now. And now I'm just gonna use my finger. <clears throat> I'm just gonna lightly hit it. Cause I'm not trying to make my hardware super copper and I don't want it to be even, okay? So I want areas that it doesn't pop through and areas that pops through more, if that makes sense. So like that. So see, I'm not hitting the whole thing evenly. I'm letting it hit heavier right there on this side and on this part of the hole. Okay. Cool, right? And then I'll buff that back, you know, once it's dry. So let's go up here to this next one. All right, so that looks pretty close up, right? You can see me, okay. All right, let's start from the top. Start at the bottom, now we're here. All right, we're gonna spray with a little bit of Easy Peasy Spray Wax, not as much as I did last time. Shake your Easy Peasy up till it's not sounding like water. One squirt, because I don't wanna get it too drenched. I just wanna give it some play. Then I'm gonna hit Voodoo Gel Stain and Temptress with a little artist brush, just a little tiny bit, like that. I'm gonna hold my brush like this and just kinda let it fall, okay. And then I'm gonna hit like around it a little bit. Why not? Let's pull this one down. Let's see how this one goes this side down here. I'm gonna pull this one maybe down a little bit in the center. Use those fingers, kind of blend it a little bit.
okay? So now it's got that kind of patina look, right? That's just the Voodoo Gel Stain Temptress over just a squirt of Easy Peasy Spray Wax. And then I'm gonna take the Gilding Wax Black and a pointy artist brush, because I'm trying to do it really tiny. And I'm just gonna take a little bit in there and I'm just gonna hit around the edge. Use my fingers. I'll let it spread on down in the center on this one. And notice I've not gotten any more black gilding wax. That's all I needed was just that tiny amount and I'm just dry brushing it over, okay? And then how I said that I like to use A shop towel and easy peasy spray wax to wipe it back a little bit. Spray on here. And then I just really light handedly just do this just to kind of like naturally disperse it or something. And I rub a little bit on the hardware. that okay so now it's like grunged right and then take the gilding wax and copper and I just take my finger just very tiny bit see how little gilding wax is very very little and I'm just gonna hit it on more in one spot than another like I don't want it over the whole thing and this one I'm not gonna use very much Some knob, knobs might have more of the metal popping through and some might have less. But notice I'm not doing the whole knob. I'm just doing like parts of it so it looks super authentic. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like that look. I'm liking that. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of that. I like that look of it going down a little bit. So I'm gonna add that to here too. So I'm gonna add a little bit more going down. So you can kind of look at what you did, like look at your whole piece and say, okay, well, that looks really cool or more or less. And clear wax erases the other wax. So. Let's see if I can pull you guys back so you can see what it looks like. Get the idea of the full effect. Like that look? Do you like it? Oh gosh. Making a mess. What do you guys think? You like the way that looks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will go in and put um, more black gilding wax around the edges, you know, and I'll grunge out, I'll grunge out the whole thing. But I really wanted to focus on the hardware. The knobs don't match, which you mean the, yes, I know. I don't want them to match because in real life, if this 
weathered over time and got dirty over time, it would be different. They would be different, right? I don't want to look like I painted it that way. I want to look like it happened on its own. So maybe this drawer has like t-shirts in it so they used it more. So this one's got more gunk, you know? And maybe this one just carries like, you know, pantyhose and they barely use those. So this drawer was hardly opened. So I like them to be different and I think it looks more like, you know, real. Yes, but that's a great, it's a great point though. And that way you can explain kind of why I do it like that. I do like the, the knobs on the same drawer to be similar. So I will do this one, not exactly, but I will do this one a similar amount of grunge, if that makes sense. So I'll make it be different, like, you know, location wise, but I will want it to be this, you know, similar amount of the black. So that it looks like this drawer was opened more or this one, I'll, I'll do that similar amount of grunge. So that looks like that. Um, and then yes, I will do the scroll design as well, but I haven't decided. I'll show you some of the patina. I'm going to for sure put some patina on here. Let's go in. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of that. Okay. 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 Pull you up here because you can see that more the most straight on. All right. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of scroll work. I'm trying not to lose this like dirty patina spray thing. Edges. But I'll put the, the voodoo gel stain. I'll go ahead and do the voodoo gel stain inside of here and show you guys how I'm gonna patina that. Easy peasy spray wax again, shake it till it's not liquidy sounding. And then I don't want to remove my patina spray. And I'll just take the Voodoo Gel Stain again and Temptress with the Artist Brush. And it's going to kind of hit that. that there's no right or wrong way to do stuff guys it's just a matter of what you kind of are feeling i'm just thinking the edges of this like where natural patina might happen Yeah, that's looking. And there again, if you want this to move more, you can spray with the easy peasy spray wax and that's gonna give you some more movement or playability or whatever. I'm just thinking like patina forms more on the edges and corners, right? So that's where I'm kind of trying to mostly hit. Thinking it would be on the downside, not the upside, you know? And I just like to do stuff like that, like make it go down more and like extra in a spot. And I think that's what makes a piece look authentic is just like, oh, I'll just put some more down here. You know what I mean? Instead of just hitting all the lines equally. Make sense? Now 
Now, sometimes I like to spray this from far back and it'll, sometimes easy peasy spray wax can leave little spots too. So it'll help me blend that in more right there, make that more sparsity. But it also can create spots and like spot my, my patina up. Where am I? He got there. Go. So if you wanted to like stop and make a hole and not make a streak, then I hit it with the heat gun. So I'm kind of thinking I want to put more Take some of that out right in this edge. Yes, like that. So it's not quite so heavy, but it's still pulled down there. So it's fun to play around with this, with the shop towel that's got easy peasy on it. Cause you can really wipe stuff back in a fun way. If you guys can see that. So look, see how that looks? It's got like the little sparsity-ness and it's got some spotting. It looks more like naturally aged. My hardware, we call this romantic grunge is what I call my style. Cause I think it looks grungy, but not in a, not in like a gothic way or like a hard way, but more of in a soft romantic way. And then here's one that's a little bit heavier in the grunge, a little bit more of the coppers popping through because that would make more sense. If it's dirtier, it's being used more, then more of the actual metal would pop through. So I'm letting more metal pop through than I did up here. And that's got some, you can see some of that patina spray, what it did. See, it kind of like just made some, some dirt or something. And I sprayed it on, I let it sit for a second, and then I hit it with the heat gun so that they didn't drip and it made those spots. And I really liked the way that that worked. So you can kind of see where this is going. I'll kind of keep going a little bit longer on those scrolls now. On the other side. It's just the key to the authentic look, guys, is to make it be random and not even and not perfect. So you kind of embrace the imperfect and that's what makes it so much fun. Oh, I don't have any spray wax on that side anymore, do I? I dried it. Now see how that was like not moving? Now that I have spray wax on there, see how I can move it around? That's why that easy peasy spray wax is so nice because it gives me the playability to move it around kind of like it, like it was liquid wax. That's why I love the easy peasy. But be careful if you use too much, then you got too much of a run, you know? Ooh, I like that. 
Ooh, I like that. And I feel like patina just kind of drips off, right? So it's okay for it to kind of pull down in some spots to look even more natural. But not everywhere, remember? It's gotta be random. There's so much shine on it. I want you to see it without the shine. I mean, there's all different kinds of art, but for like a grungy, like authentic look, it really does help to have randomness, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna do some of that on these lines here probably too. You know, where Bettina might start to have an effect And let's see here, I think, let's see if I can go in without any easy peasy for a little bit of a harsher edge. Yeah, so if I want to look a little bit harsher, I can not use easy peasy and give it kind of a stronger look. And if it's not moving enough, I just spray easy peasy and it'll start moving again. In some areas, it's nice to have a really harsh, you know, like heavy amount of patina. In some areas, be like more sparsity. Like that. It's kind of fun, right? Kind of. Um, see, now I'm totally thinking that I need a little bit of easy peasy over there. I'm going to spray it on my brush this time. Just kind of play around with it. What do you guys think? Do you like that look? Do you like that patina aged look? All right, I'm gonna pull you in the other way so I can show you this up close. And then I will let you guys go. All right, you ready? Thanks, Laura. So that's where I use the easy peasy, or not easy peasy, the patina spray in green. That kind of gave it that, that's what did those spots. So it was like brown looking spots. Straight up patina spray with nothing underneath or on top. And then hitting it with the heat gun pretty quickly so it didn't drip. And then here's what we did with the patina. I mean with that, well, patina look with the Voodoo Gel Stain and Temptress. And there's the hardware we grunged. Looks really real, right? And authentic. And then here's the other one that we did a more heavier 
look and see those spots over there that's what like the easy peasy spray wax when you take on a shop towel and wipe it softly it gives you little spots like that that help it look really authentic and real and then see up here where we got the patina spray again giving it that really rustic-y old look. And this is some vinegar and water that I sprayed down here too. And I hit it with the heat gun so it didn't drip just to kind of give different ways to pull it back. And then when this is all done, you'll be able to tell a complete look that gives you that really romantic grunge Thing that I love and of course they'll all add more black wax all around it it'll be completely grunged out but yeah that's where we're at so hopefully that helps with uh, different ways to grunge out some hardware and some like grooves and carvings to make them look really cool and authentic and use different things like easy peasy spray wax and Buddha gel stain with the good with the gilding waxes to embellish, which is super fun. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.